Yo, what's going down, everybody? It is Straight Out of Boston here, aka the King of Boston. And today we have episode 6 of my New York Yankees Fantasy Draft franchise. And you see here, we're starting out the episode with some trades that we made. Um, a lot of these were stocking up on more prospects and stuff. Uh, but a couple of them were we had to take on, you know, Manny Ramirez's contract and Vladimir Guerrero's contract, and two of them. But uh, we ended up being able to actually uh, trade away Guerrero's. For just a couple of guys, I think I ended up releasing uh, AJ Ramos. I can't remember if the other guy's still on my team, but anyway, uh, most of that stuff was contract, uh, you know, stuff. And we got a couple. I think we got Brett Jackson, JP Aaron CBO. We got Mike Mustakas out of it, and we got Manny, Manny Ramirez, which I thought would be cool. Uh, but here we're entering game against the Atlanta Braves. We are 30 and 30, 500 going into the day. Uh, this is the second to last game of interleague play. The last game will be the next episode. We'll be against the New York Mets, and then um, we'll be getting close to the All-Star break. But it is getting around that time of the year when uh, it's trade time for the uh, not only in real life but also in this franchise. Um, excuse me, sorry guys. But I have a couple things to announce in this uh, video. Uh, so the live stream that I had. On Tuesday night was a big success. Uh, had a couple people. Well, I shouldn't say a couple people. I had uh, more people than I thought. I think we had close to like 18 to 20 people at times, which is pretty good for uh, someone with my size channel, especially because it was kind of a uh, late announcement type of stream. And uh, yeah, so I want first of all I want to thank everyone who came out. It was a lot of fun. Now tonight, Thursday night. I'm going to be streaming from 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock. Um, I think, at least for now, we're going to try this out as my regular stream time, if I kind of have, like, a weekly stream time. And I'll probably live stream at other random points in the week, which I'll try to announce, post videos on my channel and stuff like that. But uh, for now, I think we're going to have a weekly stream every Thursday from about 9 to 12. That time's a little bit vague for now. It's going to depend. Some nights I'm going to be busy or whatever. Maybe be a little bit later. Um, and... The 12 o'clock is very vague. If I'm kind of feeling tired at 11 or 11.30, I'll probably stop it then. Or if I'm feeling nice and awake and I keep, want to keep playing at 12, we'll keep going. We'll keep going to 12.30, 1, something like that. But So expect a live stream every Thursday. Uh, my link to my live stream page is in, every, is in the description of every single video. It is twitch.tv slash straight out of Boston. So come check it out. Like I said, link in the description. You can follow me if you want. You'll get updates every time I stream. Now another announcement I want to make is... Uh, well, this isn't the this isn't a huge announcement. I just want to announce that I'll be doing a dual commentary uh, that'll probably go up over the weekend or something. We'll probably go up over the uh, well. Let's see, today is Thursday, so it'll probably go up over the next uh, Manny being Manny footage, just because it's a dual com with me and one of my new subs. Uh, he lives in Boston. He's a Red Sox fan, and we're gonna talk a bit about um, we're gonna talk a bit about what the Red Sox uh, should do with the trade deadline. We're also going to talk about Boston sports, and uh, it's going to be a nice way to announce both of our channels. Um, no, actually, I, I said I was going to do it over the Manny being Manny footage. Uh, what I meant is that I'm going to be posting it on the day, and we're going to push the schedule back by one day, so Manny being Manny will go up Sunday. We're just going to push everything back. It's going to be just, just be over some regular MLB 12 The Show gameplay that way we can uh, post on both of our channels. It'll be a good way to advertise both of our channels. I just want to let you guys know the schedule is going to be pushed back uh, by one day on Saturday. But hopefully you guys will enjoy that dual com. Dual com. I think it's going to be nice. Um, definitely think it's going to be cool. And uh, yeah, we'll be talking on Skype back and forth. It's going to be great. Um, so you're seeing this gameplay we're going up against the Atlanta Braves. Tied 1-1. One one. This was definitely a pitcher's duel. Our ace, Michael Pineda, was on the mound. We're going up against Jeremy Hellickson. But here, Eric Osmer lines the ball down the right field line. He's going to drive in Cespedes, who's going to come around to score from second. Osmer's in there with an RBI double. Good hit by Osmer. Like I said, heating up recently. Him and Trumbo have definitely become our two MVP candidates, uh, if we have any. I mean, they're definitely the MVPs of our team. And, um... Uh, yeah, so after these trades that I made in this video, I don't think I'm going to be making too many more trades. I took a good look at our roster, took a good look at where we could use, uh, you know, an extra bat or maybe an extra pitcher, and I decided our bullpen was definitely strong. We don't need to improve that. Um, we could maybe use another fifth starter. We'll look into that. But um, I think, who was it? We only have one guy on our team with an ERA over four, which is good. So uh, we might look into a fifth starter, but... 
I think we're probably set on that. And as for our lineup, our lowest hitting, our lowest batting average is our nine hole hitter, Mike Trout. He's actually leading off this game because we gave Starlin Castro the day off. And I can't remember, but I believe uh, Bryce Harper might have been hurt this game. I think he was hurt at the point in this game. He was out for two to three weeks. He went on the DL for a little bit, but it was all right. He'll be back in the next episode. Or, no, he won't be. He'll be back the episode after that, I believe. But, uh, anyway, back to what I was saying. I don't think we're going to be making any moves because our weakest hitter right now is Mike Trout, who is our number nine hole hitter. He's only hitting 263, but he had a good game this game, and I don't really think I want to bench him, uh, put him on the bench. He's too much of a young talent to kind of have him sitting on the bench. I don't believe we're going to make any trades, at least on the offensive side. We'll maybe look at acquiring a fifth pitcher, but I think we're going to be good on that. Uh, there's also a couple guys out in free agency. I think Brett Tom goes out in free agency, so if we don't want to give up anything too much for a pitcher, oh, I, I imagine we'll find someone, we'll find a good trade for a pitcher if we really need one. But you see here Logan Morrison, Lomo, hitting the home run against us, putting the Braves on top, I believe. They go up 4-2 to two right now off this two-run shot from Logan Morrison. Still got those orange sleeves on. It's a little bit weird, but oh well. <laughs> Can't do anything about it. Well, we could, but nah. <laughs> Anyway, so, Cespedes, good effort, but uh, no chance of getting that one. You know, we're skipping ahead here. Omar Vizquel is going to lead off the top of the seventh. He's going to hit this one into the gap. He's going to one-hop over the wall. And Omar Vizquel is going to lead off this inning with a ground rule double. So, good hit by Vizquel. Good way to start the inning. Vizquel is getting the start over Castro. Just giving Castro a day off. And uh, Vizquel definitely... Uh, always going to be strong on the defensive side. His hitting is uh, not the strongest, but helped out there. Now with one out, Mike Trout is up our leadoff hitter for the day. He's going to take the first pitch of this ad bat and line it into the left center field gap. Vizquel will come around from second to score. Trout is in there with a double. We cut the lead to 4-3, to three, making it a bit of a closer game now. Um, yeah, Vizquel and Trout, two guys who usually either don't play or bat in the bottom of the lineup, coming up big for us now. Which is good to see. Uh, like I said, I kind of struggled with the Trout. I don't really like his batting stance. Uh, it's just a little bit... I don't like it, the fact that it's such a short stride. Um, and I like... I mean, it's not that I don't like stances with short strides. But, uh, I don't know. His just is a little bit weird to me. But here, Mike Moustakas is up. We're skipping it to the ninth inning. And Brian Wilson is on. The bullpens were dominant here. But Moustakas is going to try and get something going. Gets a hit here. So we're down 4-3 to three in the top of the ninth. Now Mike Trout is up. We're going to pinch run Mike Moustakas. We're going to bring in Brett Gardner. Get a little bit of speed on first base. Uh, we acquired Brett Gardner on one of those trades you saw earlier, I believe. See, look at that speed. Look at that base running ability. And now the first pitch from Wilson. Gardner's going to take off, go to second. The pitch out, they call it. They gun Gardner out at second. That is the end of the game. So we end up losing 4-3. to three. Tough loss. Uh, first loss I posted in a while. But that's a good thing. I don't want to be posting all wins. That would be a little boring. But, uh, yeah, so uh, we lose the game. We go back under 500, and uh, that's too bad. But that's pretty much it for me, guys. I'm going to leave you guys with the box score and uh, the little end game cutscenes. So please like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. And that's pretty much it for me, guys. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'm out. Peace. Osmer is up again, and Eric Osmer is going to take this fastball to deep left center field, and he is going to get his second home run of the day. Eric Osmer really heating up. As I said, I really, I really like his stance. His stance is really nice. It's really simple. It's a bit open, which is kind of nice. It's a little bit different from everybody else's stance. Uh, it's just really nice. I like it.